I'm really, really not sure. Because, yeah, it was, I think it was stated it's only for the, for the gold. But then once again, I remember seeing trophies for first, second, and third Yeah, but place. then maybe they just divide uh, according to the tiebreaks. Um, maybe by the tiebreak, yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. I keep yeah. forgetting there is, there is tiebreak. Inside. Yeah, there is tiebreak without and playoff. <laughs> and I can check uh, what tiebreak that is for the players. I assume uh, Hadim al Sharieh is higher, uh, but I, I will not tell anything. I'm not sure. Let's go back to those games. Let's go back to men's section because we still have action going. Nakamura is still playing against Yu Yang Yi. And I believe that's not the last game in progress in this round. And we have one more round to come. Yeah. And some... Uh, what well, are the other results? Some sad news uh, for you, Peter, because uh, Salem, Salem lost, lost to yeah. Mamid Yarov. I'm not sure... Oh, wow. Wow, some, some mess. It was some messy game. In the final position, uh, Salem has two rooks and the king, while black has queen, the king, and five pawns. So it was, you can imagine how sharp it was. Uh, draw for Ponkratov and Karyakin, draw for Matlakov and Giri. Korobov wins against Firuzja. Korobov had, however, half a point less, yeah. so he is not yet in the zone. So essentially, what we have now is Dubov on Ten and a half. Mamidyarov, Artemiev, and Carson on ten. And then if Naka wins, he will be on ten as well. And I don't know how the pairing works in this case. Dubov has played with Artemiev. Dubov has played with Carson. Did he play against? Uh, did he play against Mamidyarov? Not no, really. I don't so think it's so. either Mamidyarov or Nakamura. So two possibilities for Dubov. And but then Nakamura is black, and also Mamidyarov was black. Yeah, so. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So that there will we be. We don't some know the colors. It's not. Not really easy pairing or, to make. Or yeah. Dubov, if he is the sole leader, he changes the colors. Yeah. yeah so I he think, will yeah, be white. They change the color in favor. But okay, let's not speculate. It's yeah. not our job. It's uh, arbiter's job to do the pairing, or rather, computer's job. First, let's see if Naka is going to manage to win because so far he seems to be struggling a little bit. No. I know. Now. Now. Mm. No, ah, I mean, well this, this position is such that you can only win it slowly. But now I think with pawn on HD, it's, it's simply uh, let's winning. Let's update how, how it is. Yeah, that's, this the, is that's simply the current winning, position. Yeah. Black's the move, yeah? Simply, but how do you win it? Well, simple? I just go basically... Can you go H2? That's the question. Can yeah. you go H2? I can I mean, go H2. My concern is that if, if white goes King G2... You give a check on second, and then he goes to h1. He will always have this idea of rook being desperado. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, but okay, I mean, king g5. This is just king winning. G5? Rook okay, h8, king, king f4, and then I go get my king to e4. This is. Oh, uh, wait. King f4, I give you a check from h4. Ah, again, yeah. Okay, so I go first to g4. Doesn't matter. Ah, I mean, this is. This is clever. So you go to g4. Yeah, you give me check, and I'm coming. Check, and here. then king is crawling to e4. I mean, this is just over. And then you have to give me a check. I'm coming here and I look back to H8, but this is just hopeless for so many reasons. I mean, one of the ways, how do we win it? I, I mean, mean, everything like is winning. It's like hopeless, everything's winning, but still. Yeah, they reach and this they've, got, they've got this position yeah. on the board. And okay, now, whether you go look F3 or look A2, H2, um, I mean, just anything. Just anything. I mean, also your worry with Rook A2 check uh, and with stalemate ideas does not exist anymore. There is just I no. Mean, we are not playing H2 at there all. There is just yeah? no hope. There is just no hope for White to survive. Okay, and I'm checking. It seems to be the only game which is in progress on the top board. No, not really. Jan Nepomniuk is playing against Zubov still. But after he lost the previous game, this is already. Not uh, that important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. eight. So uh, he maximum he's gonna have is nine, while the leader has ten and a half, and yeah. a lot of players on ten. Yeah, yeah. It's just that I, I I was checking the top boards, you know, like fifteen boards that yeah. we are covering. Uh, Swidler Anand was a draw. Was Grishuk a very quick Duda, draw. Grishuk Duda was drawn. Saric Anton Giharo draw. 
Zhigalko against Kamski was another draw. I think with that pairing, both players were very disappointed. Swidler and Anand. Swidler and Anand, yeah. Yeah, both very experienced. Both know each other very well. Usually, you would like to play against some fresh face. Uh, playing against each other, that was very unlucky. And by judging that they drew in ten moves, uh, they were both not yeah. really happy. Okay, so what do we do now? How do we win? That still looks like Hikaru is somewhat struggling. Okay, but uh, I don't know what is the time situation, but he had a lot of... King lot of F5. King F5 back? Wow. Why? Okay, he can anyway get back to any of this position. He can get back to this position. Check. King to G6. But where is he going? Where is he going? That's a good question. Check. And then what? <laughs> can, this we is get, can we get the times? This is a very strange or maneuver. I can more or less see it. Now White mm -hmm. managed to get almost 50, se uh, 50 something seconds. 50 plus. Naka is on 3 minutes. Okay, so he went with his king to e7 and then d6. In kind of a long way. Yeah, rook h8 and he went king d6. Yeah. But I mean, he was on e4. He could have gone to d5 immediately. Uh, yeah. Basically, it just shows that he he's afraid to give up his pawn in order to promote the e-pawn. So he's Check. hesitating. But wait, but now the only way to hide from those checks is actually on e4 when and he Luke H8 is repeats, yeah, yeah. Second time, rep uh, repeats it for a second time already. That will be a big one if he doesn't win. Yeah, so one more time, can we carefully check if h2 wins here? Or we don't need h2? I mean, first of all, we can give a check. I mean, I saw check is We can give a check and simple. the guy has to go on the last rank. Right? But then it just hopes. King G3, no, I mean, King G3, it's Rook G2, it's all, it's all over. It's I, all I'm over. not even interested in H2, which probably wins. Yeah. You just give a check and cut the king. Yeah. Rook G7, it's finito. No, this is just a big mystery for me that... Why is Nakamura... No, I mean, it does look like he's struggling, yeah? Yeah, he's struggling. Okay, the nerves play a big role here. It's already not about chess. Okay, so we give a check on a2. He goes to g1. Then he has to go to g1, yeah. And h2, then again, he we goes spoke to about h1. this stalemate stuff, yeah. Yeah, h2, he goes to h1. And then my question is if we win after rook f2, mm -hmm. for instance, rook you f2. You again want to just cut, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I want to cut him on on the. That's actually, why do I go to f2? I but you can also cut like this, no? I, I just yeah, and rook g4, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, it simply looks completely hopeless. I mean, it should after be. After okay to check. It should be. But his problem is if he's now not playing rook a2, he fools around with the king, he cannot reach this position anymore because it will be three times the petition. Absolutely. So he has Absolutely. to... Absolutely, he has to make a decision. Okay, he can go like rook f3 maybe or... or yeah, I, I do believe that rook f3 is also easy win, but... Uh, but rook f3 then at least king e2. But rook a2 check is just uh, finishing the game. Not really clear what his concern is. He has spent quite a lot of time already. And this is the problem. More time you spend, the more you confuse yourself. Absolutely. But ah, he played rook c3. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Very professional move. Because now after rook c3, there are no more three for repetition problems. Ah, hold so right. So he can make hold up right. his mind he later. He can yeah, uh, make another couple of circles with the king, yeah? Something and has happened. As Some well, look it moves. looks like he gives a chance to... Rook H7. I mean, he's now 1.48 on the clock. If, if that's right. Mm, well, from what I can see, he's... Well, for the first time since we joined this game, Yu Yangi has more time than Nakamura. Ah, he has more time, yeah. Okay, he might still win, win, of course, but... Yeah, but the nerves, yeah, the tension, the one, one sees, I mean, this, this position, usually I think if it's not about uh, fighting for the first place, you just give to Hikaru and he says, come on, this is just, uh, just kid stuff. But, like King this... F4. Okay, check will happen and he will kick you back again. That's something very strange. 
No, honestly, I don't, mm. I don't quite understand what he's doing. Could it be that we are wrong and this is somehow not winning this this other thing? I just no, cannot I'm, I'm pretty imagine. sure. I'm pretty sure. I can only believe that he's slightly worried of these stalemate ideas there, and maybe he just stops that mm -hmm. with King on H1 there is stalemate, and he doesn't look further. That you then just give up the pawn. Ah, okay. Now look, he's almost ready to go E4, which, by the way, is also yeah. like nothing mm -hmm. wrong, right? And oh, no, wait, check. But where do you run with the king now? Did he just... Uh, I mean... Where the king is going? Where is he running? Where the king is going? Okay, he can always go back. But it's but very strange. I would be worried. I mean, coming yeah, back to the 7th rank, I would be worried. I would actually try to run with the king to... Ah, F5. Maybe, yeah, maybe he goes to C4. Yeah, he goes to C4, but I still give you a check. And, and king DC, rook D8 check. You still have to go to some ugly ah, right, square right, and like I, I can I get will have king to, go to, to C2. Maybe. Yeah, one more check. And one more check. What's that? C2. That's incredible what he's doing. But uh, he maybe he gets lucky and he will still win. Because the position is so good. Okay, but so one more time. I mean, where do we get the king? Ah, right. I can get it to B2. Like, no, wait. I don't really understand. King D3, okay. Okay. So D8 obviously check. a check, yeah. Obviously a check. There is no question <coughs> about it. Absolutely incredible. So King C2, King E2. Oh well, there is like H. Okay, we can, we can move, I think, because King, King C2 is the only move that makes sense, and I think it, it was already yeah. played, yeah? It was played, yeah? Yeah, yeah King and is on C2, and, and now it's White, white who is... has to play King E2, yeah? Now it's White who is thinking. Because yeah, Rook D3 feeling. and King D2 is a big threat, ah, so I have right. to shoulder your King. And now the question uh, is, wait, what wait, Hikaru wait. has in mind? Uh, H wait, 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 can I try Rook D4? No, no, I cannot, yeah? Um, I thought Rook D4 to provoke you to... Yeah, but then I already... Yeah, H2. That's yeah. the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, so, kind so King of E2 King was played, E2 yeah? Played. Come on, I mean... That's very strange. But still, I mean, you can go H2, look H2, 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 you are threatening Rook D1, yeah. I'm threatening right. Rook D1, so maybe it's just a win. It's still, yeah. Mm, it's only still it winning. felt and it but feels that yeah, it was I mean very shaky. Still, it's um, one of the most awkward way <laughs> ways to win this position. Yeah? But if it, he wins, yeah. It if wins, he wins, yeah. he wins, yeah. And maybe it's a. <laughs> I don't think we are in the position to criticize anyone. Yeah, no. Maybe it's just a very clean, clean win after all. But hang on, Rook D3, I, I give you a check. King mm -hmm. goes away and I'm coming back. Right, and then we go to C3 with the same idea. Uh, you go look C3, yeah. Then I again give you a check. Then you again give me a check. <laughs> I mean, this is... I go to A2. Yeah, I give you another check. And then but I then go you, you might just go back with the king. Yeah, I or mean, I go okay, to... I, to I thought I will... Yeah. I mean, okay, I, I was doing some stupid things. Yeah, Actually, no, I had H8. to go to B3. Rook H8, King B1 happened. King B1. Instead of Rook D3. Ah, King B1 is more precise. If yeah, and Rook B8, King C1. Yeah. Okay, Rook H8. Still, it kind of continues, ah. but it's lost. Ah, no. Now, the thing is, now I can give you a check on C2 at some point. If you go to first rank, then I'm just exchanging the... Rooks and winning, if you go to third rank, then I crawl King C1, D1, E1. <laughs> I mean, so that's a very awkward way to win, but it does win. <laughs> yeah, no, it's already now, it's quite obvious that it's winning. Yeah, Black like is winning. So kudos to Hikaru, he was struggling. Well, okay, he first has to win, he you're, hasn't you're won yet. You're still, like, kind of in disbelief, yeah? Uh, yeah. 
So they are checking, but I'm not getting the moves. So it's a little bit tricky to... Okay, I assume it's checks. Yeah, we are having the same position that we discussed with ah, this so look a check. More checks. <coughs> king b3, king check B3 from b8. Check. And then now king goes back. You can even Oof. go back this way, yeah? Boy, but, okay. but rook b1? Rook h3, rook h1. I mean, there is still some struggle. I mean, he should be winning. Yeah, e3. Yeah, e3. You cannot get closer. Yeah. Okay, king, king c4. c4. Why? Of course. I mean, you keep your king as close as possible. Uh, hang on a second. I go rook h8. Uh, Try to win the game. Yeah, yeah? you go rook c1. <laughs> And then you know what happens. Yeah, rook c8 and white is winning all of a sudden. Okay, this will not happen, obviously, but yeah. Just to point out. Rook h8, rook h3. Yeah, rook okay, it's of not course. against Hikaru. No, you know. of course. This will not happen against Hikaru. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was too Night winning, over, if yeah. I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I can put it this way. I mean, the position, you know, still more checks coming, but... Yeah, now, yeah now he will have to switch to the rook c1 defense later on, but I don't okay, have any. King e4, check. King e5. King c5. No, king c5. I mean, okay, it doesn't matter. Sometimes he finds those surprising trajectories for his pieces. More checks to d6. But now you can see he's very calm because now he knows that there is no but way this is winning. not winning. Yeah. Okay. And we might end up that both Chinese players who have been doing so great lost in the penalty made round with the white pieces. I mean, Wang Hao lost to Dubov. Yeah. And Yuyang is on his way of losing to Take Hikaru. To Nakamura. Mm -hmm. Okay, meanwhile I'm checking the final cross table for the ladies. It looks like according to those tie breaks, right? That Ju Win Jun has won. Hadem Al Shariyek is what? just a wow. what? Stell what? Stalemate idea. What? There is a stalemate idea that if you go rook A1, I take on H2. Rook a2, king e3, rook takes oh. h2, stalemate. And I think it already happened once in Amin Basem versus ah, so that, that Erdős Viktor. This is his defensive resource. Wow. This is what he's playing for. <laughs> what is going on with this game? This game just doesn't want to end. King h3. No, but finally the king gets to g2. This game yeah. is over. This game is over now. Stop. <laughs> and by the way, what... What move is this? Ah, it's not not that long. It's 120, right? It's not such yeah, a long game. Yeah, and <laughs> That was that was brilliant. Wow. I mean, that was quite a performance. But not that's why he had to force the king to e5 because only then the stalemate idea worked. Yeah. All right. Ah, so that that was the point of uh, Hikaru yeah. <laughs> going to c5. Ah, that was that was clever.